Hello and welcome. My name is Christian Vincent with Cypress Learning Solutions. Today, we will be talking about activities and more particularly the activity timeline shown here. We'll show you how to modify and customize these global actions above shown here and the corresponding fields down below. Now, activities which include tasks, events, and calendars help you track those tasks and meetings together in lists and reports. New task shown here is just that and should be treated as a to-do item for a future to-do event. And log a call shown here, although seemingly similar to new task in that new task as a subject line of call, is different in that it's meant more for received or impromptu calls for you to log on the spot as it timestamps it for you at that exact time when you do log it. New event will create a new event with a time and location to be shown in your calendar above. An email is meant for you to send and log an email through Salesforce right there on the spot with an email template. All right, let's get to customizing. Let's say we want to add to the status pick list because we work with contracts, we want to add something that says contract received as an option. Second, let's say we want to add a field down below to show the contract amount because we work with those contracts as we said. And then thirdly, let's say we want to get rid of the email global action up here because we don't really use email in our organization, at least for the accounts object that we're on. All right, so for the first thing, to add the status pick list, we'll go to setup up here. I already have it open on another window. So we'll go to setup here and then object manager. We'll search and find task. Click task here. And then we'll click field and relationship and we'll look for that status. Cause remember it was status. We wanted to change the pick list value on. Find it here, and then we will find down here the pick list values. We'll create a new one. We'll name it contract received. All right, so we can see it down here at the bottom. Now we'll go back to our account and refresh, and it should have populated in the status pick list. All right, now you can see contract receive has been added. And then through that, you can obviously also reorder them, alphabetize them, and then delete and add accordingly. All right, and then for the second thing, we wanted to add a field down here at the bottom that had the contract amount in a currency field. So to do that, we'll go back to setup again, and then to object manager. And then we will look for activity. And then we'll go to fields and relationships. And then new, and we will click currency. And we will name it contract amount. We'll have it visible by everybody and we'll add it to both the event and task layout. We can, of course, hide it afterwards. All right, and now we will go to the home and go to global action. Now we go to global action here because we are modifying, these are all the global actions, more particularly they are activity actions but the global actions with their corresponding fields. So that is where we'll go to modify it. And then we will go to, it was new task. We'll go to layout. And then we will add the new contract amount down at the bottom. And we will click save. We'll go back to our account and let's see it in action. Oh, might need another refresh here. Yep, okay, and here it is, contract amount down at the bottom as a currency field. So now that we've added that, we'll go to our third one, which is to get rid of this email global action. And to do that, we will go back to the setup and object manager. 
And we will go down to account in object manager. And we will look for page layout. And down here is where we'll pull it out. We'll look for email and we'll pull it out right there. Now this is where all of our actions are. And this is where our actions are taken from for our activity timeline. So you see we have new task log call, new event email. And you see there are a lot of actions and you would wonder, well, how come all of them aren't being shown? And that's only because the activity timeline only takes out the activity actions from this list and populates the activities up here. So these being the only activity actions in this list, that is what it takes it from. And also they will be ordered as they are here in the activity timeline. So you see new task first, then log a call. So we have new task, then log a call. So we pulled email out. We'll save that. And then we'll go back and refresh. And as you can see, it's now gone. So as you can see, the editing and customizing of these activities in the activity timeline is a little more tricky than one would think. I hope this video did give you some insight on how to do so. If you enjoyed this video, do be on the lookout for more videos to come as we continue this admin helper series. Again, my name is Christian Vincent here with Cypress Learning Solutions, and thank you for watching.